Hey guys, it's the 28th of January 2020 and I just thought I'd give you a quick update on the acorns from the previous videos that I've already done. So I did not sh video the part where I have, you know, drained the acorn meal into here in this bowl um, because in a previous video I show you that we leach the acorn meal in jars for about four days. So these acorn um, meats or the acorn meal um, have been leaching for four days now and I just wanted to show you how we actually get from this to making a roasted um, product which I have in the jar here and if the light allows you can just see that it's ground and it's a very creamy brown. Right folks, the acorn meal has been roasting in the oven and it's now complete. I did turn it up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit in the end just to complete the roasting process. It dried initially and then I just turned it up. Um, and we have a little bit of a darker roast than the ground that I showed you earlier, which I do have here. And if, and if we make a comparison, you can actually see in the jar it's a lot lighter and the meal is a lot darker. It just means that will be a little bit more of a roasted flavour, although I will mix both of them together anyway. So what I'm going to do is mill this meal up to a fine powder using my milling blade and my baby bullet. And this will all be turned into a fine powder for coffee um, or flour. Um, so it's got multiple uses really and I will do a video of making acorn cookies at some point too. Um, this will actually go down to not very much. Once it's been whizzed up it, it goes down to about half of what you can see here on the tray. So I'm going to get on now with milling all of this and I will get back to you when we're done. Right folks, there's the final product after all the grinding and we have a nice dark roasted acorn powder and that will make some pretty good cookies. Now a lot of people ask me what this tastes like and the only thing I can liken it to when we all agree is that it actually tastes a little bit like biscuits and biscuits I'm referring to like a digestive biscuit and it kind of has that smell too. It's It's a little biscuity, caramelly kind of smell and taste, which is actually really, really nice. So you have to stay tuned because I will be making some cookies with this in the near future. So you'll have to keep an eye out for that and I will see you soon.